Uh, yeah, I know. I just forgot. I totally forgot to go live. <laughs> I totally forgot. I always do that. <laughs> but we've had class for starting at 9 a.m. <laughs> okay, do you guys finish, both finish watching the, the video? I am finished for sure. Good. And you, Rio? I mean, you say you're done, so I'm going to keep your word. All right, let me... Uh, okay, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we're going to kind of work with that stuff that he said, because it's, it's all fine if you're listening to a video, but if you don't practice it, it's kind of hard to remember anything. So... We're going to talk about how he connects words. He gives two examples in English of how we connect words that are consonant with consonant and then consonant with vowels. So the consonant with consonant I connected with the D and T, -T examples. Uh, so the first one, the what do is what do, like what do you do? So everybody repeat, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Good. You, Anton? What do you do? Good. All right. Then if you have the word sit down, we would say sit down. Sit this down. Time, good. Well, this time we'll do Rio, you start, and then Anton will go. Sit down. Sit down. Good. Then hot day. Oh, it's a hot day. So it's hot day, hot day. Hot day. Hot day. Good. Okay. And so I'm going to ask you guys a question. Is today in your, not your country, where, where you are, is it a hot day or a cold day? Hot day. Cold day. Anton, is it hot? Is it a hot day or cold day where you are? It's, it's a warm day. But you can, That's not a choice. <laughs> it's not a choice. Stop trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's practice for pronunciation. I don't need facts. <laughs> it's, it's a hot day. Good. Okay. So what generally happens, I think, with a lot of um, teachers especially since I mostly speak to people who are English learners here where I live and on the computer, is that I begin to separate my words when I speak, and I speak clearer all the time. But as soon as I'm with my mom or my sister or my friends, I immediately go back into my like, and I speak really, really fast. So I'm going to try to keep you guys up to speed with how natural English is spoken. All right, let's try consonant with noun. <clears throat> so instead of saying pick up, we say pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Work out. Work out is work out. Work out. Work out. Work out. Take out. Take out, take out. Take out. Take out. Good. Next one, sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Now, I forgot the most important one. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> That's <was> really good. <laughs> Anton, tell me to shut up. <laughs> you just told me. Told me. I, well, <laughs> now... Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I have a question before we move on. I'm, I'm trying to design a, a lesson that's only curse words, especially use, concentrating on the word fuck because we use that word so much in English. Would you guys take that class, or would it be too offensive?
if I did a class of only bad like curse words in English? Uh, no, it, it wouldn't that uh, offensive. Okay. What about you, Rio? Uh, sorry? What about what do you think if I do a class all about bad words in English, curse words? Do you think it's a good idea? Um mm. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry, can I say again, please? Yeah, go ahead. What do you think? Uh, uh, the questions? Yeah, if I do a class about bad words, how to pronounce and use bad words in English, mm -hmm. do you think that's a good idea? I think, yeah, I'm really curious about it. Because I, I have the same problem with a lot of students. They feel very embarrassed to ask. <laughs> But if I have okay. a class that's just like, no, we're going to say the word fuck a thousand times in this class, okay. I think it's going to be fun. It'd be, I think it would be a good idea. All right, now we have some sentences. So the same ideas that we've concentrated on, consonant plus vowels or consonant plus consonants, and we're going to see if we can try to naturally put in these liaisons or connections when we speak. All right, so the first one, stop it would be sta pit. So, you need to stop it right now. Need, Go ahead, Rio. You need, you need to stop it right now. Anton? You need to stop it right now. Good. I need it. Need it. I need it more than you do. I need it more than you do. I, I need it more than you do. Play a, play a song for us on your guitar. For us on... Play a song for us on your guitar. Play a song for us on your guitar. Good. Play a song for us on our guitar. Good. Read a, read a book for me, Mommy. I probably just say read a book for me. It would be two. This is not correct English. I did not put this right. I'm sorry. Read a book to me. Read a book to me, Mommy. Good. Read a book to me, mommy. I had the best time ever. 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 That was a big grape I just ate. That was a big grape I just ate. Good. That was a big grape I just ate. Thanks for coming. Have a good day. Thanks for coming. Have a good day. Thanks for coming. Have a good day. Please sit down until I call you. Please sit down until I call you. Please sit down until I call you. Great. You guys have beautiful accents. I'm very, very excited. Okay. Now, he mentioned these two words in the video. One of them I agree with. One of them I don't agree with. Interesting. I think that he says that perfectly. Interesting. Interesting. Go, Rio. In, interesting. Interest, interesting. Good. Interesting. Good. Interesting. Now he gives the example for comfortable that I don't nest. I don't agree with. He says comfortable, comfortable, which to me sounds a little bit stupid. I, but he's Canadian. He's from Canada, and he has a Canadian accent. So I think that is why he says it like that. In the United States, we would say it as comfortable. 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 Anton, did you say it? Or was it just. Anton, say it. Comfortable. No. Yeah, you said comfortable. 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 Terrible. Comfortable. Comfortable. So now I want you guys to say the chair is comfortable. Chair is comfortable. The chair is comfortable. Good. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to practice some common phrases and then we're going to play a game. 
and then we're going to stop. Um, so these common phrases are how you, I would speak to my friends. I try to put things, ways that I would talk naturally to people I know or other native speakers. So what are you doing would be what you doing. What you doing? What you doing? Actually, not even with a G. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Right. Did you finish it? Did you finish it? Did you finish it? <laughs> Go, Anton. I'm sorry. Did you finish? Good. Did you out? Did you go out last night? Did you, did you go out last night? Did you go out last night? Good. Would you do it? Uh, would you do it? Would you do it? I gotta get up early. I gotta get, I gotta up, get up early. I gotta get up early. <laughs> I gotta get up. Get up early. I have to get up early. Get up early. I gotta get up early. Will you say it, Anton? Because I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Yes, uh, I said it first. Say it again. <laughs> I gotta get up early. Good. All right. Tell me what you got. You guys gotta do today. What do you gotta do today? For example, do you gotta go to work? Do you gotta eat something? Go to sleep? I gotta work. Good. Mm. I gotta do nothing. You gotta do everything or nothing? Uh, what would you like me to do? Nothing or everything? I don't know. This is, I'm just asking you a question. What do you gotta do? Do you have any responsibilities today? Uh, I go to do something. Good. <laughs> Good. All right. Now I'm going to ask you guys to ask me a question. No, that's a lie. I'm going to ask ask you to ask each other a question using the word "did you." All right. Pronouncing it, "ju." Ju. So, for example, I, I'm going to ask uh, a question as an example, and I want both of you to ask it. Um, do you eat breakfast today? Do you practice today? Do you eat breakfast today? Do you practice today? Breakfast. Do you eat breakfast today? Pra uh, did you eat breakfast? Um, yes. Good. <laughs> Anton, do you eat breakfast today? I did not. <gasps> Why not? Mm. Because I woke up very late oh. for breakfast, and, uh, <laughs> and yes, I didn't eat my breakfast. Good. All right. So I, I wait. Have, have no time to. to Did you eat lunch? No. Did you eat anything? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should eat. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna fall asleep in the class. All right, so now I want Rio. Think of a question to ask Anton using "did you," but pronouncing it "ju." Mm -hmm. Um. Ju. Ju. Do you do you, do you go anywhere last weekend? Did you, <laughs> I did go somewhere last week? Good. Good. Now, Anton, do the same thing. That was a good question, Rio. That was really good. I want you to ask a similar question to Rio. Okay, Rio. Do you dance on the crossroads? 
Um, I'm sorry, I can't, can not say it, please? <laughs> Do you dance on the girls' rods? Do you... This is what I understood. You dance See? on the crosswalks? <laughs> yes. Is that what you asked? <laughs> Did yes. you dance on the crosswalks? Uh, no, 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 not yet. <laughs> you should try. <laughs> I do it every day. <laughs> Good. All right. <laughs> Um, all right, I want you guys to all do one more example, but using what are you, say what you. So, for example, what you, uh, what you doing this weekend? I'm going to ask, can you, I want you both what to you answer that question. Week? What you doing this weekend? What I do this weekend? Um, um. Going to coffee? Going to a, co uh, a cafe? Cafe. Good. You, Anton, what you doing this weekend? I'm fishing this weekend. You're teaching? Fishing. Oh, fishing. Cool. Yeah. Wow, that sounds nice. Okay, now Rio and Anton, think of a question to ask each other using what you in the beginning. So it could be what what you like to do, uh, what's your favorite color, <laughs> anything. What? What you think about Japan? Good question. I, I think it's a great country, and someday I visit. This country. Oh, I yeah. definitely want to visit that country. How far mm -hmm. is it to fly from Siberia to Japan? Uh, about uh, eight hours. With uh, wow. mm -hmm. so far. Okay, good. Now, Anton, ask Rio a question, please. Rio, what do you expect in me? Us to ask you. <laughs> That's Anton, always making life easy for everybody. <laughs> it's your mm. specialty. <laughs> anything, food, um, anything I like, food or something. Good. He asked the question. He asked the question by not really asking the question, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to play this game now. It's called Mad Gab. And it's really fun. At least I think so. And it's all about pronunciation. So the idea is you read the words and you try to hear what the real words are. So this would be an example. So you would say, wide earth in snow. Wide earth in snow. Wide earth in snow. Wide earth. Whiter than snow. Da -da. That's what you're saying. Whiter than snow. Whiter than snow. Do you guys understand the rules? I won't. I clear. I won't show you the answer clearly. Let's try the first one. The best way to play this is to have one person read it and the other person try to listen. So, Rio, will you read these words and then Anton try to hear what he's really saying? Okay. Well, this is Abe. 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 Abe on full back oak. Actually, repeat after me and then try to say them for Abe. Odd. Odd. Whole. Whole. Luck. Luck. Oak. Oak. Now repeat those words again. Abe, odd, whole, luck, oak. But remember, we have the liaison in English. 
So this is the a consonant. This is a vowel. So these will k, uh, they will come together. So, Rio, just try to say these last two words. Black oak. Again. Black oak. There we go. Black oak. Black oak. Black oak. Now try to say everything again. Okay. Uh, able to hold black oak. Anton, mm -hmm. can you hear this? Are you being able to hear a little bit what he's saying? Not. <laughs> A bot, hold that cock. A bot, a bot. Go ahead, both of you can say it. Now, now you a try to say it, Anton, and Rio, you listen. Okay. Uh, I don't see your screen. Oh. By the way. What happened? Okay, now I see it. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened. Uh, a bot, how the cock? Keep repeating it. Keep repeating it. A bot, how the cock? A bot, how the cock? A bot, how the cock? Nothing? You ready for the answer? A bot. A bot. A A bottle of coke. A bottle of Coke. A bottle of Coke. <laughs> frankly, frankly, uh, I saw the the answer, but, but I didn't see. It. Oh my God! Can you stop I cheating? Can I can't make these disappear. Don't look. All no, right. I can't. I won't. I, can't. I won't show you the answer for the next one. You can't see it, can you? You can't see the answer. All right, one of you read these. It's do, why no, who. Do why no who? Do why no who? Do you do you know who? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? <laughs> Somebody read it. Just read it again and again. Read it like three times. Do you find a few? Do you find a few? Do you find a few? What? Why? That's, you're not, you're not re reading the second one. The second one is wino. A wino um, is a person who I? drinks a lot of wine. <laughs> All of these words are real English words, by the way. Do is like when grass gets wet in the morning. That's do. A wino is a drunk person who only likes to drink wine. A hue is a color, a type of color. Do you wine of you? Do you wine of you? Do you want? Do you wine of you? Do you wine of you? Oh, I don't. Do you? <laughs> do you know? Does anybody know what it is? No idea. How about I'll read it and you guys listen to how I say it? Do why no hue? 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 Do I know you're close? Yeah. You're really close. It's do I know you? Do I know you? Ah. Was this game great? All right, let's do another one. Not showing you the answer. You can't see the answer, can you? No. Okay. This one I started getting lazy. <laughs> I just was like copying and pasting it. I didn't actually do any editing, so let me make this much bigger. All right, go ahead. Somebody read it. Fur chin, oli foil. 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 You're saying it. Fur chin, oli foil. How about you, Anton? You try saying it. Is anybody hearing it? You hear it. 
I hear it. I hear it because I know it, but you are basically, you're saying the words perfectly. You're pronouncing these words perfectly. It's three different words. Fur, you ready? Fur. Fur chin ollie foil. Fur chin ollie foil. Tell me when you're ready for the answer. Fur chin. Can you get any of the words? Not searching. It's not searching for. Uh oh. Fortune only file. Fortune only file. Fortune only file. Fortune only file. File. Fortune only file. How do you want me to give you one word? The last word, it's three words. The last word is oil. Oil. Fourteen, only oil. You give up? Mm. All right, here we go. Ah, virgin olive oil. <laughs> virgin olive oil. Okay, I think there is. I like this one. This one's really funny. Um, make it bigger. Okay. Hi, people are dahe. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing because it's they make it's only two words, but they made it into five. Hi, 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 people are dahe. Hi, people are dahe. Hi, people, Earth to hay. Have a good hearth, hi, people, Earth to hay. Earth to hay. I'm going to make this side is one word. Hmm. I'll give you some hints. I'll make it a different plot. This is one word, and then this is another word. High peep, high p, high Not with the p though. High p, high p. High per. High people are stuffy. What if I give you the first word? The first word is happy. Happy birthday. Yes. <laughs> ah. Happy birthday. That one is really, really. This one is my favorite of all of them. So I want to do this one, and then we'll stop. And make it way bigger because it's super tiny. Mm -mm -mm. Joe Clay Dice Cream. Joe Clay Dice Cream. Joe Clay Dice Cream. Ah, uh, Joe Clay Dice Cream. Yes! Yeah, you got better at this, Rio. Awesome. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. And I didn't even have to show, but I will show my video now because I promised I would. Maybe not. You can't see me. Can you guys see me? Apparently my camera's on, but it's not working. I even tried today. My computer won't let me show my ice cream. Show my ice cream. Show my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I will let you go. Thank you for being patient in my pronunciation class. Let me know what you think, and I'm gonna work on a curse word lesson.
so that we could all learn how to say bad words in English. There we go. Oh, it does Bye. work. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thank you. See you. See you.